Hey, what's going on, nation? Today I'm going to teach you something that's going to turn your world upside down. In fact, the majority of you are probably not going to like it because gym culture has warped our minds so much that bad habits have become the standard when it comes to how you build muscle. We live in a world where more equals more, and if we don't at least touch every piece of equipment before we leave the gym, we feel defeated as if our workout was subpar in some way. But guys, that couldn't be farther from the truth, and here's why. Just like anything else in life, such as work, school, or relationships, you don't get better and more efficient by bundling as many responsibilities together as possible. You only get better when your energy is focused on a few things at once, and the same goes for your workouts when trying to build muscle. Just because you're training arms and have a list of 10 exercises for biceps and 10 exercises for triceps with three sets per exercise, that doesn't mean you're going to get faster results. That is a total of 30 working sets for a smaller muscle group. And I can guarantee that the majority of those exercises are fluff exercises, which means that they're inefficient. More doesn't equal more when it comes to building muscle. Now let me explain. There are only so many exercises that are optimal for building muscle for each body part. These are exercises that not only allow you to lift as much weight as possible for reps, but they also are able to help you maximize muscle damage for repair and growth. Some prime examples would be the bench press, shoulder press, squat, deadlift, bent over row, dips, and barbell bicep curls. Now, if you really think about that, doesn't it make sense that you should be focusing on those kinds of exercises when you work out? I hope so, because the majority of you will most likely never need to train with movements that are so specific in terms of what muscles they target. For example, if you think your right bicep's peak is slightly bigger than your left, and you stop focusing more on exercises that only target the outer head of your biceps versus maximum overall damage, chances are that you're going to stunt the overall growth of your biceps. In fact, 99% of the time, if you guys have any sort of muscle imbalances, if you were to just continue to focus on movements that allow you to overload with the most weight possible, your imbalances would go away and you would get bigger overall. Now, I did say 99% of the time, so what's the 1%? Well, the 1% would apply to those of you who are stepping on stage for a bodybuilding show. At that level of competition, a slight imbalance could mean the difference between winning and losing, and at that point, you've most likely reached your maximum muscle building potential anyways. So spending more time isolating various muscles that need a bit more growth comes with the territory of competing. But if you're not competing and your goal is overall growth, you need to focus on maximizing the use of exercises that will give you the most bang for your buck and not waste your time trying to gain four centimeters on the outside head of your right bicep. So what does the perfect workout look like then for each muscle group? Well, it's actually much simpler than you think. For larger muscle groups like chest, back, glutes, quads, hamstrings, just pick three to four exercises for a total of 15 to 20 working sets, and that's plenty. And that could mean five sets of three exercises for chest, six sets of three exercises, or five sets of four exercises. At the end of the day, it's up to you. But for me, less is more, and I would stick with three big movements like flat bench, inclinal reverse bench, and then finish off with heavy dips or dumbbell flies. Done. For smaller muscle groups like biceps, triceps, shoulders, traps, and calves, pick two to three exercises for 12 to 15 total working sets. For example, for biceps, I would do six sets of barbell bicep curls and then six sets of inclined dumbbell curls, and I would be done. My, if your biceps aren't toast after doing that, then something's wrong with your intensity of your lifting, guys. And this, which, this actually leads me to my last point I want to make. When you guys start a new exercise, do you ever notice how you really don't stop feeling it until the end of maybe like your second or third set? Even if you do a few warm-up sets, your first heavy set feels, eh, like okay. But it's definitely not hitting your muscles as hard as your second and third, and this is where three sets per exercise is killing your gains comes from. 
three sets per exercise is almost like the law of the gym. You do three sets and you move on to the next exercise, three more sets, and then you move on. But no, guys, stop thinking like this. If you're training, say, triceps with heavy dips, and by the third set you're feeling like you just hit Super Saiyan Blue, don't stop doing dips to go do like a tricep kickback or a pushdown. No, 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 guys. You keep your butt on those dips and you crush two to three more sets with as much weight as possible. A dip is going to target all three heads of your triceps for muscle growth much better than most other exercises, and that's just a fact. You don't have to target a muscle from a million different angles to get it to grow. Also, and this is important, guys, if by your third, fourth, fifth, or even your sixth and last set, you have to decrease the weight, and I will say it again, if you have to decrease the weight as you continue with your sets, then do it. If fitness was a video game, and you got to the pot to where you had to decrease the weight each set, then you've won the game. Your muscles are getting fatigued, which means you are taking advantage of the muscle building mechanisms, which are metabolic stress, muscle damage, and mechanical tension, which I do have a video on if you guys want to learn more, and I will link to it down in my pinned comment section below. And one last thing, guys, and this is what most of you will probably have a hard time with because you are used to training, say, arms with a lot of exercises. If you plan your workouts right and train muscle groups that work together on the same day, you will get more out of your movements. For example, if you are training chest, it makes sense to train triceps the same day after your chest. This is because your triceps will already be pre-exhausted and broken down a bit after all the chest movements. So when you hit those two or three tricep specific exercises, it won't take much time to finish off your triceps and maximize arm growth. But if programming is not your specialty, you are more than welcome to join my site, MuscularStrength.com, and try one of my programs, and my team and I will help coach you as you make them muscle gains. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video upload from me. Oh, and one last thing, guys. For all my fellow Dragon Ball Z fans, I have been uploading videos like crazy to my other channel, Oh The Hermanity, covering the new Dragon Ball Super episodes as well as Dokkan Battle. And I actually just pulled my first LI, and it was sick. <laughs> Even if you're not familiar with the game, if you just want to see me kind of freak out, it's definitely worth a watch. So I'll put a link to that video in my pinned comment below as well. And guys, as always, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.